I'm going to take a bike up Glen Louis and up for Glen Derry. See how it goes. Tons of stuff, far too much. But uh, it's not far, it's only four or five miles to get to Derry Lodge. That's <coughs> me on the bike now. See your knee. Left knee still. That's a wee tent up there. A bit breezy, but never mind. Not going any further tonight. Up there, it's a bridge there. Banshee. It's a radio or That's a food, yeah. You know what I forgot? Tea bags and coffee. Take it, buddy. What do you call it? The stove. Plenty gas. Well, plenty things to heat up, but I don't have tea or coffee. Right, we'll turn a little bag in the van. So, yeah. this is a bit of radio. Remember the radio, remember cameras and God knows what and stuff that I'll never use. But no tea bags or coffee. Fantastic. Beautiful. Tea bags, no, 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 no coffee. I remember everything else but. Really big. Oh, I'll never mind if it's hand noodles or something. Whatever. It's something like a lot now. Hope it will up there tomorrow. It's pretty breezy, it's not so bad now even. It's supposed to be a better day tomorrow. The light winds are going on, so. We'll see. Yeah, come up on out.
How important has that been, having that government support compared to uh, traditional, let's say, traditional forms of generation in this case? And you need to... Oh well, I'm in my sleep bag now. I've got a couple of coffee sashes off of the couple of guys that's just along a bit here. And there's two guys in tents that come up from Edinburgh. They are uh, heading through the Larigaroo, I think. Or, uh, yeah, and they're meeting up at the, at the other car park at the other side. And there's another guy going by, he's away over the bridge and uh, heading towards Derry and Glen. Overnight in a tent there, so. Yeah, it's four tents so far. Pretty good. So I'm just listening to the radio, you know. Radio 4 sounds really exciting when you're somewhere like this. And, uh, I've got sandwiches to eat yet. It's, I think it's about 9 o'clock. Ah, it's quarter to 9, so. The sandwiches. And uh, I've, uh, I've drunk one of the coffees already. It's not doing once, it's just sashes, a, a spoonful of coffee. Ah, I can survive that, guys. They're not even taking any coffee or tea or stoves or anything. They just say they eat trail mix and water. Fair enough. And they probably only got a uh, hundred weight of cameras and batteries and Christ knows what. I'm really going to have to wave a sack next time. Cut down quite a lot of this. I've forgotten the most important things. Alright, catch you later, guys. Cheerio. See you later. There is a good relationship between our health services and the pharmaceutical companies. I think what we've seen, unfortunately, in this case, that drug companies have put their profits and their shareholders' interests above that. Do you have a look? I haven't caught the wrong yet. The three sleeves and sleep. Sleeping bag in a Vortex baby bag. Whatever. I suppose you have to be very careful with this, you know. In the tent. You know where they're knocking at the. Couldn't even be bothered getting water, so I just put the, the diluted orange juice in. I'm going to give it that and something else in there. Okay, okay. okay. At least going about in here. Big mosquitoes coming in and yeah, jet boiler there. Look at that. Heat exchanger in the bottom again. No, I'm not really doing it. I'm glad I bought my, bought my new decent sized half can of stuff. I'm very glad I brought this stove out because. Finally get something to eat. Oh well, well, that's looking lovely now. Dal. Dal and noodles again. Lovely. I'll enjoy that. And I'll get the radio back on again. Probably take this camera, the camcorder, up the hill tomorrow because I carried it. So lovely. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Get some to eat. So funny. A joke. Poor the dead. Good old Mahdi.
faint drizzle. foot now. The hill's in sight. It's a big one.
Split an attack here. There's a lot of gnolly. Block that chicken. Hot just and hot. So it's this way. Oh, that is stop a curry. A chicken. That's on the top of the lasagna. Just a memorial. This new bit. Do I think it's empty there? What's that old guy? Oh, it's me. Excellent. Oh. Excellent. Seat for a minute. Two seats. Uh, bench on a stove. Someone else. Uh, they could have fit the dinner not do right enough. This has got dry. Okay, take five here, at least.
here 23 years ago and turned back because of the weather as far as here I think and beyond I don't know I'm aware it was this it wasn't a collector
Thanks. Yeah. Shelter spot here. The winds have been blowing from the west, so it's lovely. For me, the war is over. Sort of. Right. That's lovely. Sitting in the sun there, I shoved the mud sport. I saw that on the way up and I thought I'll get to sit here when I come back and I did. So, excellent. Cold when you stop though, you know. So, let's go.
assume to hear by accent. Somebody's dumped their gear here. Two people, one. Look what I've found. She's a good horsey. Right, I'll take five. We'll get the bike onto the path and down a wee bit and have a seat. Solid. Solid. Come on, horse. For you, the war is over.
We wear red feathers and a hooli hooli scout. Great job of that because you're not going to be using them poles again tonight, if at all. Oh. That'll do. I've got red there. Uh, cloth hanging down the back here. Yeah. That's how it get lost. She wears red feathers and a hooli hooli scarf. What a beast. I know this is a rough bit, but I will get on you soon ish. It's a long way to go. Probably okay. I'm not taking a chance because I just went head over heels. Went head over heels back there a bit. And the camera wasn't on, of course. It wouldn't have been a good laugh if I'd broken my leg, my arm, or whatever. Could have been a fractured skull there. That'd be handy. Hello. Hi, hi. All right. Nice grassy bit now. I don't know really, and I don't know how to boss. Two separate occasions.
Tent. Yeah. Oh. Oh. I should sleep tonight. You yeah, don't know. I might be able to sleep. Yeah. All right. Oh. That was a high road I took back. There. Six and a half a dozen, which way you go. I would say it's really a six and a half a dozen. I'm saying that's the scenic route. That's the scenic route. Maybe a lot of pushes. And the way up. The way I went this morning. Not so much pushing. Right.
co-ops. Do you think this spring on that? Yes.
five minutes to go. Going back at the back, I suppose.